everyone, my name is Kelly. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you on how to blend or cut your own bangs. Um, if you have these pieces that are growing uh, in the front that is not really a bang but it doesn't really belong to the haircut, um, I find that as we mature, uh, in my case, um, these little baby hairs tend tends to grow and they don't grow any past your eyes they just like grow to about here and you know sometimes people have receding lines like I do um, it's very frustrating because these um, if they are too long they look very bald looking and if they're uh, not cut properly um, it can get really messy so today I'm going to show you how to blend it in with your haircut so that it looks like it's part of your haircut those of you who just had a baby, like the moms that are getting, you know, hair grown back around here, um, you're, you know what I'm talking about. Or, you know, just sometimes you color your hair and you get breakage and, you know, you don't know what to do with it. So a lot of time, if you have short pieces here and your hair is long to here, um, it's best to blend it because if not, it, it, it doesn't look right. It's hard to style and, you know, either you're going to end up plucking them out or you're going to yank them out. So, both of them are not good idea. So today I'll be using my cutting shears and my uh, comb. So the finer tooth will hold the hair more firmly, the loose tooth will hold it without any tension. So the best way to blend these short pieces of uh, hair is to actually part it to the side so that you can actually turn this into a side sweep bang. You can definitely use this method if you want to turn this into a side bangs. So since I just want to blend it so that it's not awkward, or at least when I push my hair back, there's a bit of layering. So it looks more like a flow as opposed to a big chunk of hair that's sticking right here. So I will part where I most likely want to blend the short pieces. So what I do is I comb the hair down to see where my length is. So right now it's about where my chin is and my short grown uh, hair is about there. So you can see it's that big of a gap. So I'm going to uh, angle it down so that it blends. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go in from the hairline in about an inch and a half. Once I get there, I'm going to part straight across like so okay you can clip this aside one inch and a half from the hairline and then just part it into like a rectangle i'm going to use the fine tooth so i'm going to hold it on my opposite hand move the comb over to the opposite side and go on a perpendicular to the ground. Okay, so again, I'm gonna use the fine tooth so it holds onto the hair. I'm going to hold the comb on a horizontal, moving it over towards the other side of my hair, other side of my face, and have it on a perpendicular to the ground. Then I'm going to point cut it. So please point cut it, because if you blunt cut it, it's gonna get very heavy. So by you point cutting, it softens it so that when you push it back, you get nice layers on the side bangs. Okay, so as you can see, is on an angle like this. Before it was down to here, but because of me over directing and angling, it become more of a curve. Which you can see now how there are a bit of layering. So as you push your hair back like this, it gives it a really nice soft side swept. See, you can see it feathering and beveling. So if you want it 
With this technique, you can go as short as you want. So uh, again, I always recommend that always cut less because you can always cut more. If you cut too much, then you have no hair left to cut and you may make a mistake and you end up not liking it. So I would most likely just keep it like that, okay? And let's say that's because I want more of like a lighter side bangs. If I want it uh, thicker, I can part it to about two and a half inch from the hairline in. So depending on how thick you want your bang is to be. So let's say if you want it thicker, you will part it in on a rectangle. But as you go into the head a bit more, you may go on a diagonal down to the parietal ridge, which is right here. So it's gonna be a shape of like this, in and then on an angle. Let's say if you want a thicker side bangs, you can do exactly the same technique. Hold on to that and then bring the hair over, crossing over on a perpendicular to the ground. And then you just trim what's needed. So if you want to use this technique to go any further or higher, you can. So as you can see, the side bangs has more life to it. It's more softer. It's not a thick piece right here, which looks really nice on the side. And then on this side, usually I find that if you are going to make this a size web, then you don't need to do this side. Just keep it a little longer so that you can tuck it behind your ears or um, because if you make them both the same, I find that they just go really box off your your face if you just make both sides very symmetrical. I find anything below the chin then make it symmetrical but if anything above the chin and you make it uh, symmetrical on both sides I find that it really square out the face but that's just my personal preference. So now you can see that my uh, short hair right here is blend in with the layers that I just put in and it just make it more um, blended because a lot of time if you have the short pieces here that I had before and then you have a really long piece they will force each other to separate and then the short piece will go this way and the long piece will go that way because they're not blended so it's very frustrating because you're gonna have long pieces here and then short pieces here but now that you see how I blend them together um, the layers in the side bangs forces these little hair to work with it. So I find that it really um, looks better. And that's how it looks on the side, the back. So even when you sweep it back, you see these layers of the bangs that you just cut as well. And let's say if you wanted to put your hair up, like this and then have some pieces down I find it's very pretty I find that um, those of you who like to wear your hair up a lot it's nice to have a bit of framing around the face just so that it softens um, the face and it's not so bare uh, looking and let's say if you wanted to part the hair in half which my hair won't go in half now because I've been parting on the side all day but let's say with the bangs if you were to part in half it will probably stay where your chin is and it works as well, just as fine. So, so that's it for how to fix or trim your own bangs at home. I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that the video was helpful for you. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Bye.